this sounds like an absolute movie. So the guy now claims that he actually recorded the alien oh, shit. Oh, and shit. they had video apparently men in black showed up there are a lot of videos going around and it, this is absolutely crazy we first learned that ufo crash in the the back uh back side there are imprints there's like marks like circular object you know how you would see like a crop circle i would say it's like a mini crop circle that happened the cough showed up 38 minutes later after the first phone call which is absolutely insane like had it been that they were in uh like some serious trouble i would say this was also serious but maybe they thought it was just uh you know people people were just being people were just joking around maybe that's what they thought but and even the officer did say during the video that one of their uh one of his friend another officer saw a light in the sky something crashing down and that's when they realized okay it might actually be true so maybe that caused them to go otherwise they probably wouldn't have or maybe they would maybe something came up i don't know but 38 minutes that sounds absolutely insane right 100% they're not human. Witness details alleged alien encounter in Las Vegas. Roll it. Southern Nevada is abuzz tonight with stories about the crash of an unknown object and the alleged sighting of strange creatures in the backyard of a Northwest Valley home. So it was last night Crazy. that 8 News Now investigator David Charns reported about how Metro Police responded back on May 1st after receiving a strange call from a very frightened family. Well, our report generated a global response and now piecing together the sequence of events has been kind of tricky in part because the primary witnesses have been almost as elusive as the beings they say they encountered. Chief mm. Investigator George Knapp is as perplexed as the rest George of Knapp. us, George. Hey, as you know, this is not our first UFO rodeo. We first heard about the incident. Man, you guys remember that bizarre, uh, not bizarre, what's his name? I forgot that. I forgot his name, man. In early May via the Metro Police. Bob Lazar, Bob Lazar. Grapevine. The incident has a lot in common with other bizarre cases from around the world. An alleged crash, strange beings, and bits and pieces that don't make sense. But the police took this seriously, and so do we. Mm. Just before midnight minutes, on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police and allegedly that's what landed. Officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. One family living in a ranch-style home had a much closer view of the object. Two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle Damn. in their yard when they caught a glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, then were hit by what they describe as a shockwave. One of the witnesses, a young man named Angel, has stated when the brothers looked into the yard where the object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. Man. What they saw next prompted a frantic call to this sounds like a movie let's be real and i'm not sure if we heard similar stuff before or not like something was there but it, it just it feels something is there but it feels like that nothing is there but something feels like it's watching us you hear cases like that and i wonder if they really have the cap capabilities of uh, uh you know like invisibility clock some something like that to 911 so there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot, nine feet, yeah, ten foot. That. I don't know. They're, they look like they look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Okay. Like, like I can't explain it. And big eye mouth. I wonder if they actually first heard this and they were like, "No, nah, th these guys are on crack. These guys are high. There is no way." You know, that's probably why they took thirty-eight minutes. Damn, that is crazy. But, but. I, <sighs> I suspect that they also receive a lot of crazy calls and half of or more than half of the time it's just fake. Yeah. They're shiny eyes and But still man, like and that's not crazy. Human. They're hundred percent not human. Eight News Now investigators have spoken with family members multiple times in the past four weeks, but each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or their phone. Damn. These are some of the claims they've made in other public forums. Multiple family members backed up the story in an initial police report we obtained. Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. They later heard footsteps on their roof. They saw Holy. one of the eight-foot-tall creatures climb behind the controls of a large front loader stored in the yard as if Man. trying to engage it. 
He got a good look at one of the creatures, he said, a greenish grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths, and when he locked eyes, he was, in essence, frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle of the yard, where the object had crashed, then vanished, a circular impression was left in the soil. Okay. Oh, shit! Damn, that is crazy. And you know, you always hear like green, little grays running around, little greens running around. You always hear that crap. And man, that is insane though. Like for the longest amount of time, that's what we hear. And that that's what this guy is describing. And also the guy said that the second he looked at it, he froze. And I understand the sentiment because there are a lot of people saying, and myself included, I wish he recorded. I totally agree with everyone that is like, man, he should have recorded, man. I agree with that. Anybody, nobody would disagree. But the, the fact of the matter here is that had it been that it was you that encounter, you probably would have had a similar experience. You probably would have, you pro most probably you would be shocked as well. And you probably would not record. I, I don't know for how long he saw the being was it for a couple of seconds was it for a minute or two i feel like if it was for a minute or two maybe you can pull out the camera and record and in some cases we are hearing they did record but they're not letting the video out publicly which kind of makes sense to me because yeah that's what the government is supposed to do right like uh, we don't want to be letting everyone know what they what they saw where is this on your property? Metro sources say the police dispatcher initially wondered whether to send a crisis intervention team to help the troubled witness, but then took the incident seriously. Two officers arrived 38 minutes after the call, and by Damn. then had heard from other officers. They proceeded cautiously and managed some nervous laughs. I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> a few days later, the family says, two Metro sergeants returned to the scene to ask follow-up questions. The family says they also saw men in suits and sunglasses yeah. driving in a car with government plates cruising slowly past the house. Oh, shit. That's when you know it's real. That's when you know it's real. In the following days, Nellis and Creech have denied any interest or involvement with the incident. Metro has indicated they believe the family that something crashed in their yard. But what? Someone else has access to it. You mentioned George in that piece that you know they were frozen because so many people have been critical of like yeah. why didn't get their phone out? Why didn't they shoot the video? Do we know if there's even any video of this incident? Uh, uh, yes and no. So there's a surveillance camera in the backyard. The property owner keeps that because he's like got a lot of expensive equipment there. What we were told is that at the moment this thing comes down and crash, this camera went out and it was out Damn. for a couple of minutes when it came that that is crazy that kind of makes sense right like if something fell that high from the sky and that fast um yeah the impact and the shockwave would knock it down but the crazy part here is that it started working automatically on itself later on oh, shit! it oh, is shit! as though the beings or whatever landed they did that on purpose that is that is insane that is insane back on the object was gone but the circle was there we've been told by angel in multiple phone conversations that he shot video ah. of the creatures we haven't seen it, and we don't know anybody else who's seen yeah, it yet. Yeah, that's what I heard, and that is insane that we have not seen that video. So maybe he'll release it at some point. It's getting Man, release it! But guys, click on this video on the screen. They don't want you seeing that. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.